Greetings guys, welcome back. We are going to go right into it, into another Jotman's Animal Corner. Equus ferris cabalus, also known as miniature horses, were developed in Europe around the 1600s. During this time, they were frequently seen as royal pets. They came into existence through the use of selective breeding. Selective breeding, also known as artificial selection, is where humans develop new organisms by choosing desirable characteristics. In other words, people kept taking small horses and bred them with other small horses. The first mention of a small horse being imported to America was in 1888. However, the breed did not gain awareness in the States until the 1960s. Because they were bred by humans, miniature horses have no natural habitats. Miniature horses are herbivores, meaning their diets consist of plants. Miniature horses eat grass, grains, and other forms of plant matter. Like the larger counterparts, their stomachs have specialized cecum to aid in the digestion of grasses. The cecum holds good bacteria that break apart the fiber otherwise hard to digest. This does not leave the mini or this does leave the mini horse in danger of colic. Many horses can eat between two to five pounds of hay per day. The miniature horse comes in a variety of shapes and colors and is only limited by its size. A horse must be low 38 inches at the wither to qualify as a mini horse. The smallest mini horse on record only stood 17.5 inches tall. They normally weigh between 150 and 350 pounds. They live longer than regular horses. They have two body types, draft and refine. Many horses on average live between 25 and 35 years. Many horses are not ponies. Although similar, ponies have larger heads and longer legs. Like normal horses, male horses are called stallions, females are called mares, and babies are called foals. There are names for horses that get given birth, neutered, spayed, or just at a certain age. Many horses can be used in a number of ways. They are used as pets, research, mining, royalty, and as show animals. Because of their compassionate nature, they make great therapy animals. They are even used in the service animal industry. Many horses can be rode, but they can only hold about 20% of weight on their back. However, they can pull three to four times their own body weight. In conclusion, many horses have a variety of uses. They must be less than 38 inches tall. They are herbivores with specialized stomachs. Lastly, they came into existence through selective breeding. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. God bless.